from some other species from another planet. Mars, sometime in its past, was the site of a space base. The unexplained, abrupt end of a Soviet space mission in 1989 suggests that the ancient space base has been reactivated. In October 1988, the Soviet Union sent two spacecraft to investigate Mars, named Phobos 1 and 2, after one of Mars' two moonlets. On March 26, Phobos 2 sent back images, taken just south of the Martian equator, of this uncanny elliptical shape. aligned with this long linear strip, stretching for 300 kilometers. This shadow actually appeared all of a sudden. Why am I calling it a shadow? Because you can see things through it. So this is an object not suspended about the surface, but actually located on the surface itself? Yes, of course. This elliptical shadow then, is it in Mars atmosphere or on the planet's surface? Or is it difficult to tell? One thing is for sure, this something is not positioned horizontally. A long spell of silence followed until, in December 1991, former cosmonaut trainee and retired Soviet Air Force Colonel Marina Popovich held a surprise press conference at the Russian consulate in San Francisco, where she showed off this photograph, reportedly taken by one of the Phobos craft. It shows in the foreground a strange shape, which Marina Popovich called an unidentified flying object, what we refer to as a UFO, clearly set off against what appears to be Mars moonlit Phobos in the background. So, what about the mysterious shadow? Well, the Russians said, it turned up all of a sudden that it was something that shouldn't have been there, a shadow of some object above the Martian surface. But that's not all. In April 1992, as we examined these other images, all taken within minutes from each other, we discovered that the shadow had actually been moving. <laughs> 